I want to get your take on that note from J.P. Morgan first. I mean, when you look at their outlook, they're saying that this election has a big impact on bond yields. But for the most part, it's the biggest impact comes from a, a, a Trump election and potentially Republicans taking, you know, one or, or both chambers of, the, of Congress. Yeah, so I think, I mean, both candidates, possibly once they're in office, there's potential for higher fiscal spending or a growth oriented agenda. And the main worry is this would put a more upward pressure on prices and then, of course, inflation. And so I think that, you know, the market's reacting to um, potentially a little bit more of uncertainty and volatility until we get to the election. But it's also reacting to a sense that you know, rates may not be coming down quite as fast as earlier predicted um, in September. And so you're seeing, you know, something like the 10-year Treasury going as high as, you know, 4.25 yesterday. So there's a mix of things in here. Um, and there's a couple ways you could think about it over the next two weeks um, leading up to the election. All right. So with this broad sell-off on bonds, does that make Treasuries less attractive right now? And if those are less attractive, what do you see as more attractive for investors? Well, it depends on, on, on where you, you pick your spot. So Treasury yields are still at you know historic highs relative to where they've been since the GFC. So in sort of the short side of the, of the market, you can always be seeking out really good income. Um, but also, you know, as you look across where the economy is, so the economy is in a good place and corporations are able to sustain and pay their debt back. So we like opportunities in corporate credit. Quite a bit, and I think there's two ways. You know, we're really um, our highest conviction is to is to you know get into high yield actually because okay. corp co companies are in pretty good shape. They've been refinancing their debt. You know, um, uh, their fundamentals are very strong. They're able to cover their debt ratios. But you know, if if you're thinking that you know high yield in the triple C section might be too much, we think maybe you go into higher quality high yield like um, XBB, uh, which gives you you know still great interest rate and coupon income, okay. with lower interest rate sensitivity, or you know even just considering investment grade debt, but picking a better spot, the sweet spot of investment grade debt, which we like intermediate triple B exposure there.